All right, it is carnivore diet, I think day 36. It's Sunday, June something, June 19th. Um, I'm at Bledsoe Creek State Park in Gallatin, Tennessee. Um, I think it's carnivore diet day 36. I'm not sure. I was only going to do 30 days, but uh, you know, I kept the ball rolling. So, did great yesterday. Didn't cheat at all. Uh, haven't eaten so far this morning. It's 8.35. Um, and I'm out taking a hike, which is going to wind up being my exercise for the day until a little bit later I'll probably do a uh, elliptical machine workout. Uh, happy Father's Day out there to everybody. Uh, we go to Florida in six days. So I'm really looking forward to that. I haven't been on the scales again just yet because, no, I don't know why. I just haven't. Um, but I'm going to save that for, you know, when we get closer to leaving. Um, last night I had a ribeye for dinner. I had some eggs and sausage for breakfast yesterday morning at Cracker Barrel. And I probably shouldn't have gone with the sausage, but I did. And it was delicious and, you know, whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm getting ready to come up a decent sized hill right here. But yeah, this is... This is the way that I like to work out. I used to go running up through here and I probably need to start doing that again because it's a great, great workout to come back here and go up and down these hills and, you know, be out here in the woods. This is, and I'm breathing heavy as you can tell because I'm going uphill right now. Uh, but this is a great workout uh, if you're into trail running. Really, really cool out here. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. And it's starting to flatten out a little bit here. But that's where I just came from. As you can tell, it's a pretty good hill right there. So, and if this is shaky video i guess it's just gonna have to be shaky video because i don't have any fancy camera equipment i'm just holding my phone in my hand and i, I really don't care Whew. down to the right here that's the lake that's not sky that goes down the hill there and then ends at the lake right there that's old hickory lake which comes back here to Blitzo Creek State Park. Huh. That hill about got me. I'm glad I didn't. I was going. I was thinking about running today, but I, I'm glad I didn't because I don't think my legs were up to it. Oh, but I am getting a good hike in. There's a neat little area right there, kind of overlook, almost kind of area. And then now we're coming a little deeper into the woods and we're getting ready to hit a section of the trail or a section of the park called the High Ridge Trail. And I'll show you why that is in a minute. All right, this is the High Ridge Trail section at Bledsoe Creek and it's getting ready to take a steep turn upwards now i'm not going to feel myself doing this but uh as you can see it starts with a bunch of railroad ties right here and goes up the hill there and then at about that point right there it's going to take a right and go up the hill Exercise ring closed. that's my watch it's going to go up that way and then at about that point right there it's going to cut back up the hill that way to the top of the hill which is going to be up there and altogether i don't know what the um 
what the gain in altitude is. But it's pretty high. If I had to say, if I had to guess, I'd say it's probably 60 feet difference, maybe 75 feet difference from where I'm standing to the top of the hill, just straight up. So anyway, that's part of my hike here. So I've gone 1.31 miles uh, and I'm getting ready to go up this high ridge trail. This is going to take probably about five minutes or so to get to the top and so I'm out of here until I get there. One other thing about this high ridge trail, like I said, that it's got all these, um, you know, railroad ties. The way I like to take this, um, and if you ever come across anything like this, uh, it may be worth it to do. When I come up onto a railroad tie, I take a step with one foot. Yep, I got my Hoka speed goats on. Step back up with my other foot. Step again, and then hit the next one with my other foot. Step up. Step again, hit it with the other foot. It makes it for real slow going up the hill, but I don't get worn out. I save some energy for the rest of the trail, and each step up, I'm doing it with an alternating foot, so I'm not just you know, working out one leg at a time like a lot of people would, would want to do. Uh, so anyway, that's that. All right, still on the high ridge trail. I just came from down there. I'm up here now and I'm heading up the trail. Here, this is all uphill. And I think I was wrong in my assessment of the elevation gain coming up this trail. Oh, it feels so good to get out of breath and work up a little bit of sweat though. So, like I said, the trail came up the hill, went over to the left, and now it's cutting back over to the right. And like I said, this is how I handle stuff like this. Up one, up with the other, up with the other, up with the other, and then up with the other, up with the other, up with the other, and so on. <coughs> and then up to the top, and that area up there at the top of the steps is the top. So finish that. All right, I just made it to the top of that section. <clears throat> There's a little bench here for people who need to rest, which I do, but I'm not going to. So I just came up from that direction and you know it's getting close to be the end of June, but it's really cool back here because of all the shade back here it's not as hot out here as it would be as if I was in my driveway so this would be a cool Jeep trail and there's all kinds of rocks and stuff sticking out there we go this would be fun to drive my Jeep on uh, at least for a little bit so, this is my Sunday morning, and I think it's day 36 on the carnivore diet. I'll get it figured out and put it somewhere. We're not eating breakfast until actually about noon today, so I've got some good fasting going on. Uh, I should go ahead and just fast until dinner tonight, but... I'm not going to. I definitely want to get some eggs and <sighs> probably just some eggs going on. But that was the High Ridge Trail, and uh, it really sucks. My almost 50 year old legs really struggle with that. But it's a fun walk nonetheless. Now it gets a little bit easier. 
because I'm about to go down a pretty steep hill and then it's going to level out a lot the rest of the time. So I'm going to put a rock wall right there. Past that rock wall right there is private property. So I'm not sure who owns it, but it's just a big field. I don't guess anybody really does much of anything with it. But anyway, that's it. All right. I'm about half a mile past where the High Ridge Trail started, and it's just gorgeous back through here. This is my favorite place to come get any kind of exercise. Bledsoe Creek State Park, Gallatin, Tennessee. It's really nice. They have camping here. Um, I think I saw that they had some kind of little axe throwing pit set up also where you can like throw axes and stuff. and you know whatever <clears throat> i've actually camped out here before a long time ago um but it was really cool and this is just a gorgeous area in the winter time when there's no leaves on the trees you can just see forever and uh, it's really 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 pretty uh not to mention the lake that's out here which i've never been on this part of the lake out here by the uh by the park but it's still a really cool area. This is one of the reasons why I like coming out here is because this trail runs along the shoreline of the lake and they don't keep it knocked back very much. So the, uh, the grass and the, all the vegetation and stuff around here is up pretty high and it stays that way during the summer. But coming across the, you know, right by the lake right here, really really peaceful it's a great run when i'm running out here it's been a while since i ran out here but it's just extremely extremely cool and like i said it's you know with all the cover out here it's not warm out here right now at all or not hot i should say it's definitely not cold but with all the cover back here it, it keeps it keeps it a lot cooler back here than it would be otherwise. And especially with the humidity that we get here in Tennessee, then it's really, really helpful to run somewhere like this where it's covered up a whole lot. So yeah, I've always loved running out here. But like I said, especially in the winter time, because you could just see everything. There's no leaves on the trees or anything. And it's just really, really nice. So, yeah, that's that. All right, I'm almost at the end of the trail. Now I'm probably a quarter of a mile away from my car. Um, but I really just love how this trail runs, runs, you know, runs through the woods. It's no different from any other trail anywhere else. I want to try Cedars of Lebanon, which is in Lebanon, Tennessee. Never been there. Always wanted to. And... I need to check that place out. Uh, there's camping over there. There's people camping on the other side of that little patch of woods right there. And so this is actually a really, really great park coming up on a bridge here. It is very slippery when wet because I've ran on it several times. Uh, you should see it when it's been raining. There's plenty of water running through here. This is where the lake comes in. The lake's right over there and it, you know, comes in right over here. But then when it's raining, you get it coming in from this side too. So it's really, really cool. And on the other side of the bridge. And this is going to go up toward the visitor center where I'm parked. So there's some people camping right there so I'm gonna turn it off a couple more things there was a Jeep show out here yesterday I didn't make it but I really wanted to but I didn't make it because we were running some other errands but there's still a couple of old Jeeps sitting out here from yesterday I have no idea what year these are it looks like these two are really similar 
This one's also um, obviously had the top chopped off of it. That one's still got the top on it. Look at the bumper on the front of that thing. It's awesome. Yeah, that's probably from the 60s or 70s, if I had to guess. It might be from the 80s. I don't know. And then here's another one over here. It's pretty awesome. Love to have something like that. That'd be extremely cool. Really like that yellow one, though. And I really like this blue one. And I don't know what they have these. Are these ditch diggers or something? I don't know. What the hell? I don't know. Anyway, I thought those were cool. All right. I'm leaving Bledsoe Creek State Park right now. And it is 940. I'm heading back to my house. So it took me about 75 minutes or an hour and 15 minutes to walk three miles. And the, the High Ridge Trail was a big part of that taking as long as it did. It took a while to get up there and I think it's probably closer to about a hundred foot elevation gain from the start of that to the top of it. Um, there's a deer. There's deer everywhere out here. I love it. Um, now I'm heading back home. Um, but it was a great, great workout. Um, I wish I had the time to do that every day. I know I just, I don't, you know, with working and everything uh i just don't have that kind of time i need to start making more time to do stuff like that um instead of making excuses not to make time to do stuff like that so um anyway it's carnivore diet day 36 i'm headed home um we're gonna have breakfast and i'll have a an omelet i wonder if they have steak there check that out um so i'm headed home happy father's day and corner of our night day 35 36 sunday june 19th